Hey everyone, um, I've just been asked by a couple of people there to do a, a quick paint tutorial, uh, something really, really simple. Um, some of the tutorials that they're quite long and a little bit over complicated, you know, just for making a basic, basic, simple paint, it's very, very easy. You don't need much. Obviously, I race myself and Photoshop. You can use GIMP if you want. I know it's free. I personally use Photoshop myself. I just find it that a little bit easier to work with. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is download the template. Okay, so you get the template by getting paint car. Go here, download the template, and obviously extracting the file. Okay, now I've already gone ahead and done that, and I've extracted the file here. And here it is. Okay, so this is the Photoshop uh, file. Okay, now I put it here under the in the paint folder. Okay, so this is the paint. This is where all your paints will go. Um, and all other paints will obviously be downloaded from trade and paints and into your paint folder okay now so you might be asking where is this this folder okay so very easy go back to my pc click documents into where is it irison paint these are all the paints okay so for for just this tutorial uh we'll do the stock car chevy camaro uh, 2022 okay click on here this is the one obviously extracted already now uh, first thing i would advise you to do guys is to rename this okay and what you need to rename it to is car underscore followed by your iRacing number so this is like your iRacing account number okay so i'm going to put in my one okay and slows up okay this is by default okay so uh, there's a few other things that we can do here as well. Uh, personally, I don't like, let me open this up here. I personally don't like the decals. I always like to take the decals off. Take me, leave that on, I suppose. Pick others, that's fine. Okay, so there's your base paint, which is like this, this blue at the minute. Say you want to change that to, to red, okay. Keep it nice and simple, keep it red, okay. So we'll click on our paint over here, go up top, select the color we want. It's like a bright red there. Click OK. Okay. And we have our little bucket here. Okay. So we clicked on the base. And there's now the paint is now red. Okay. Now what's really cool about having the 3D viewer on Photoshop. Let me go into it here. This is the, the 3D viewer for your car is you can actually as you're making your paint you can save it and then come back here look at it twirl it around and go mm, yeah mm, make more changes as you go okay so let's do that right now let's see what it looks like okay so I'll click file save as okay now this is where you need to save it you need to save it in this folder remember we talked about the paints folder okay go into your chevy 2022 folder what we need to save it as is like a TGA file. Okay, so if we look up in this menu here, we search the uh, TGA target. Okay, and don't worry about the naming because we've already named it once, so we don't need to worry about renaming it again. It's car underscore followed by your iRacing ID number. Okay, click save. It's going to ask you what resolution. I always pick the highest 32. Okay, done. Very, very simple. Now, if we go back into iRacing, car is on red. Very, very simple. Very, very simple. Um, okay, let's talk about what else can we do with this. Okay, maybe just some designs. There's, there's a very quick way of putting designs on your car. Let me show you a quick, easy way of doing this. So we go into iRacing, paint car. You see these designs here? You can actually, we'll just hide the, the custom paint there for a second. You can actually use some of these. Okay. So there's a, a couple of guys I know in the league and are actually using one very much like this. So we can actually borrow this, see what it's like. So this is number four. Okay. So let's go back and have a look at that. Back. Nope. Okay. Let's go down here. So um, because 
the computer starts in zero, this will be the first, second, third, fourth. Okay, so this is the one we want. Okay. So what you can actually do is you can select parts you want and then change it around. Okay, so to select a part, what you want to do is get the magic wand tool. Okay, make sure this layer is selected here as well of whatever pattern you want. Okay, so let's just say we want the green bits. Okay, we've already selected one there. Hold down shift, click on another one, click on another one. Keep holding down shift, click on that, click on that, 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 all the green bits. Okay. Now, when you've all the bits selected, uh, this one too. Oops, that one. Okay, when you've, all, when you've all the green bits selected, that's great. Okay, so we know we'll start up a new layer and we'll make this white and this will go on top of our red. So I'm going to call this white. Okay. Now, we have the white layer selected here, but we have this selection. So what we do is have a second paint here, make it white. Okay. And we'll get edit, fill. We'll fill up the foreground color, which is this color here. Select. Okay. Now you're probably thinking, I haven't seen anything yet. That's because this layer here is still over this layer. So if we get rid of this layer temporarily, we just blind it. Okay, that's not all white. Okay, so we've made changes. Let's see what it looks like on the car. So file, save as. Okay, make it into a target file. I'm going to overwrite this one. Remember, it's in the stock car Chevy Camaro 2022 folder. Save. Yep, yeah, replace the old one. That's fine. We're still going to go with 32 bits. Okay, now we check out the iRacing 3D viewer. Beautiful. Okay. Now you'll notice these little bits here. These are little bits you can have to fix as you go through it. They're like the, the fine detail bits. Okay. Um, for anyone asking, this black bit here in the window, that is iRacing's issue. They haven't fixed it. It's just that cannot be painted for some reason. Okay. Okay, what about putting some decals, some logos on the car? Okay, that's very, very simple as well. Okay, we go back to Photoshop. So what I've done in the meantime is I've actually put some logos in the folder here. Okay, now it's just a matter of putting these on the car. Okay, best way to do this is from here, just literally drag it onto the car. Okay, there is it like that. Let's we'll press this button up here just to place it. Hit place, that's fine. I might put this on the bonnet. So you want to hit Control T. Okay, on the corner here, hold down Shift, twist it around, hold down Shift as well, and just make it a little bit smaller. Just so maybe it goes onto that white bit there, just so it looks a little bit nice. Somewhat nice. There we go. Okay. Again, just, just an example. Now, there's a little cool here thing here that has the wire. So it's like the wire model. So you see the way the, the bonnet uh, has vents. It kind of lets you know this and you're able to work around it. So this is this actually isn't too bad. The wireframe is pretty good. I I, I use it a lot of the time. And uh, number number of other things you have here is number blocks. Okay. So this is where the numbers will go on the car. So there's no point putting the logo on this because I race and will just stamp uh, the logo or not the logo. Sorry, the the number over it. There's no point. Okay. They have another layer here that has the sponsor blocks where it says you can put a sponsor. That's just kind of like a guideline. So it is. Okay. So we can add another logo here. So we have the NASCAR one here. If you notice, they're all, they have PNG at the end. So we'll put in NASCAR one. The reason why I use PNG files is because they don't tend to have a background on them. So you just kind of put wherever you want. Now, as I said before, there's no real point putting this here. Why? Because if we go from number locks here, that's where your number is going to go. 
so you need to work around it. Okay. So I'll just leave them blocks there, so so we have an idea of it. Keep on the NASCAR layer here. Okay, we obviously need to make this a little bit smaller. Control T. So we can edit it, make it a little bit smaller like this, something, something like that maybe. Place that. Maybe something like that. Okay, it doesn't have to be perfect, but that's all right. Okay, so that's the NASCAR logo there. Okay, what I tend to do is I tend to do um, top of the car, one side of the car, and then just whatever is on one side of the car, mirror it and put it over here. Okay. Okay, let's try for another logo. So we'll put um, Chevy one. So we'll grab the Chevy, drop it on here, and PNG file. Yes, we'll take that file there, place it. Okay. Kind of run a little bit out of space here, but we'll just maybe get the logo in. So again, Control T, Control T, I should say. Okay, and we'll place that. Move it down there. So it's somewhere. I'm just using the arrow buttons here on the keyboard. I'll make it a little bit smaller. Now, what you can do is you can hold down Alt and use the wheel on your mouse to zoom in and out. Okay, now I don't like the way Chevrolet is wrote there, okay? So, I'm still on this layer, the Chevy logo layer, okay? What I'm gonna do is use the E-Raise, and I'm just literally gonna erase this. Now I need to rasterize this layer, so I'll rasterize that so we can use this. And it's just a matter of taking it away like that. Okay, so that's the right and gone for that there now. Cool. Control zero, full screen. All right, let's have a little look, see what that looks like in the car. Um, there's no point saving a car like this because you're going to have these green boxes and the wireframe on the car. So you need to remove those. Okay, so back over here to our layers, we need to remove the wire, remove the number blocks. Okay, if you can, if, if you want, you can remove car mandatory, but iRacing, as soon as you import it in, it'll it'll force on the mandatory layer anyway, so there's really no point. So we can put it on there, just have it. All right, so we'll go File, Save As. I'll save it as a target file, TGA. There's our one there. Save, we're replacing the old one. 32 bits, okay. Now, go back and iRace and see what it looks like. There's the logos on the car. Okay, but you're still not on the other side. Okay, might put the Chevy logo on the back here as well. Okay, few few changes made. This is what I really like with the 3D viewer. Okay, literally just grab it with your mouse, flick it around, and go. Yeah, that's cool. Like even here, look at this. We still have to remove the bit of red in here. Okay, that's easy fix. We can do it. It's no problem. Okay, so back in the Photoshop, uh, what I said we would do is we put the Camaro logo on the back of the car. Okay, so again, what we can do is just drop in, sorry, the Chevrolet logo on the back. Okay, drop it in there. Place the file, yes. Okay, okay we'll turn on the wireframe just so we've got an idea. Okay, see the way it kind of gives you an outline here? This is where the kind of the bumper starts. Okay. Now, something I picked up as well is if you want to change the wire uh, into a different color, right? Just double click on that layer, bring a color overlay. And we can actually use change this color to a completely different. I like to have a green because I find green is really easy to spot. Okay, so you can see that there's where this is your bumper. So I have an idea now where it goes. So if you're looking at the back of the car, this is this area here. Okay, and this is where your bumper starts. The bumper's obviously going down here, we'll say. Okay, so that is what we're looking at here. Okay, so we need to make this Chevy logo fit in. So to select this layer again, because we, were, we are on wire at the minute, so we change wire. Right click on the Chevy logo, I need to use Chevy logo because that's what I named it as. Left click, 
or now back is that. Control T to reshape it. Again, it's just all about messing about with it. You're not going to get it perfect first time. I said a lot of this is just practice playing with it, see how you get on with it. I think the wireframe is pretty cool because you can use this line as like maybe the center. So you can line up with the center of the logo here. Using the arrows here to move those up ever so much. Okay, so you see that I'm using lines, just make sure I'm above that line there. I'm going to place that. Let's see how it looks. So, really quickly, I'm just going to save it. Now I know the wireframe is on, so the wire wireframe will come out. That's okay, it's just for testing. Yes, save. There we go. Okay. I know the wireframe is on it. Don't worry about that, that's fine. We, that will we'll take care of that. So that's the Chevy logo on the back. Pretty cool. Okay, just while we're here, I just want to remove these little bits of red bits here. Okay, very, very simple. Back into um, Photoshop. Okay, we're going to zoom in. Again, right click on what we want to touch. Okay, it says there base, but I don't think it actually is the base, is it? Ah, that's what it is. It's the change logo for colors. Ah, no, I see what happened there. Okay, so the red is actually in behind it, so it is actually on the base. Okay, that's fair enough. So the red is actually in behind it here. That's no problem. What we're going to do is we're going to paint a little bit over that. Okay, the best way to do this is to probably make a selection using this tool. Okay, and we're just going to paint this white. White's already selected here. There we go. Okay. Control D. That gets removed of that. Pretty cool. Okay. What else did we say we would do? Okay. Uh, yes, we need to flip these over. Okay. Very, very easy way to do this. So if you know what decals you want to move over, you just right click. Click on the layer. So I named this obviously NASCAR because it's NASCAR. But you can just go over here to the layer, right click on the layer, and click duplicate layer, make it a copy. Yeah. Or if you want, you can call it maybe NASCAR um, left, as in for left side. Okay. So it's now two layers. That's duplicated. Okay. So what I do is go hold down shift and hold it and just go up. And you're probably going to say to me, well, that's that's going to look like the wrong way around. Yes, it is. Control T, spin it around. Okay. And where things get a little bit complicated because you're going to have the A and the R over the wheel well, so it's not going to get seen. Got to remember as well, you can't move it too much back to the front door because the number block is going to get in the way. So, what we want to do, probably then it make it a little bit smaller, to be honest. Something like that. Place it. Good. Okay. Next one to move over is the Chevy logo here. Right click on it. Left click on Chevy logo. Okay. Over here to the right. Duplicate the layer. And I'm just going to call it left. Okay, so that's now duplicated. Hold on shift. Scroll up. And it's now moving over here. Okay, we need to flip it over, hold on Control T, and we're able to spin this around with Shift, place it here. Now, a slight problem is, if we go back to our 3D model, that's where the fuel goes in. So the fuel is going to have this, this green on it. So, we can't really have the logo sitting on here because we're going to miss half the logo. So again, we're just going to highlight this, just use the arrows here, move it over in a nice way so that's not interfering with that. Okay, control zero, full screen, there we go. Okay, now next thing we need to do is have a look at it on iRace and see what it looks like. So we'll get rid of the number blocks, get rid of the wireframe, file, save as, number save as a target. 
there we go. That's a target file. Place, yes, 32 bits, yes. Go back into iRacing and see what it looks like. Not bad. Could be better, could be worse, but it's just uh, just for purposes of a tutorial. Okay, so that's a very, very quick car. Okay, if you have more time and patience, you know, you could do way more stuff, put way more decals on it, whatever way you want to do it. It's it's pretty cool. Pretty cool the way you can, the way you can do that. A lot of it is is uh, is a great like that you can kind of do what you want you see what i mean we moved over the, the logo just get away from the fuel cap okay there's other things you can do as well like spec maps so spec maps is a form i suppose of um of putting a matte finish to it or a chrome finish to it um some cars look pretty cool with the chrome. Some cars look pretty cool with the, the matte finish. Some people I noticed they have like a chrome finish, but maybe just for their numbers or maybe for a certain part, uh, a certain like selection of the paint. Could be chrome, like maybe the back half of it could be chrome or something like that. Or you know, maybe they have like say, the silver surfer as a sticker on the back. And rather than having the just silver, they actually have the silver sur surfer as actual chrome. So that, that's pretty cool. That's where you're able to do selections like that. But that's it guys that's pretty cool uh, next thing you want to do now with this is you have your target file here all you need to do is go to the trade and paints website pull it down as, as the one you're racing that's it you're, you're using it you're racing so anyone who has trade and paints that you're racing with online they can download your paint and obviously they can see you in the paint that you're obviously racing in very simple okay thanks